Nagarhol National Park, also known as Rajiv Gandhi National Park, is a national park located in Kodagu district and Mysore district in Karnataka state in South India. It is one of India's premier tiger reserves along with the adjoining Bandipur Tiger Reserve. This park was declared the 37th Project Tiger, Tiger Reserves of India in 1999. It is part of the Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve. The Western Ghats Nilgiri sub cluster of 6,000 square kilometres, 2,300 square miles, including all of Nagarhol National Park, is under consideration by the UNESCO World Heritage Committee for selection as a World Heritage Site. The park has rich forest cover, small streams, hills, valleys, and waterfalls. The park has a healthy predator-prey ratio, with many tigers, gaur, elephants, Indian leopards, and deer chital, sambar, etc. <laughs> Location The park ranges the foothills of the Western Ghat spreading down the Brahmagiri Hills and south towards Kerala state. It lies between the latitudes 12 degrees 15 N and longitudes 76 degrees 17 minutes 34.4 seconds. E. The park covers 643 square kilometers, 248 square miles, located to the northwest of Bandipur National Park. The Kabini Reservoir separates the two parks. Elevations of the park range from 687 to 960 meters, 2254 to 3150 feet. It is 50 kilometers 31 miles from the major city of Mysore and 220 kilometers 137 miles from the Karnataka state capital of Bengaluru together with the adjoining Bandipur National Park 870 square kilometers 340 square miles Mudumalai National Park 320 square kilometers 120 square miles and Wayanad Wildlife Sanctuary 344 square kilometers 133 square miles it forms the largest protected area in southern India, totaling 2,183 square kilometers 843 square miles. History The park derives its name from Naga, meaning snake and hole, referring to streams. The park was an exclusive hunting reserve of the kings of the Wodyar dynasty, the former rulers of the Kingdom of Mysore. It was set up in 1955 as a wildlife sanctuary and later its area increased to 643.39 kilometers, 399.78 miles. It was upgraded into a national park in 1988. The park was declared a tiger reserve in 1999. Topic: <laughs> Climate and Ecology. The park receives an annual rainfall of 1,440 mm 57 in. Its water sources include the Lakshmantartha River, Sarati Hole, Nagar Hole, Bale Hala, Kabini River, four perennial streams, 47 seasonal streams, four small perennial lakes, 41 artificial tanks, several swamps, Taraka Dam and the Kabini Reservoir. Flora. The vegetation here consists mainly of northwestern Ghats moist deciduous forests with teak and rosewood predominating in the southern parts. There is central Deccan Plateau dry deciduous forests with Pala indigo and thorny wattle towards the east. There are some submontane valley swamp forests with several species of the Eugenia genus. The main trees found here are the commercially important rosewood, teak, sandalwood and silver oak. Species of trees of the dry deciduous forest include crocodile bark, Lagerstremia lanceolata, crepe myrtle, Indian kino tree, Gruia tilifolia, rosewood, and axlewood. Other tree species that are seen in the forests are Lagerstremia microcarpa, crepe myrtle, kadam, cotton tree, Schleichera trioga, and some species of ficus. In the understory, species found growing include Kydia calicina, Indian gooseberry and beechwood, shrubs like horse nettles, tick clover, helictears species and invasive species like lantana and bonesets are found in abundance. These forests have some conspicuous tree species such as golden shower tree, flame of the forest and clumping bamboo. Topic. Fauna. 
The park protects the wildlife of Karnataka. The important predators and carnivores in Nagarhole National Park are the Bengal tiger, Indian leopard, Usuri dole Goon alpinus alpinus, sloth bear and the striped hyena, hyena, hyena. The herbivores are chital, sambar deer, barking deer, four-horned antelope Tetracircus quadricornis, gaur Bos gorus, wild boar Sus scrofa, and Indian elephant. Nagarhole National Park provides an opportunity to see some of the southern population of gaur jungle bison. Also, this park in Karnataka is a good place to see elephants in the luxuriant forests and bamboo thickets which they most enjoy. Their total population in southern India is now about 6,500, nearly all living in the area where Karnataka, Tamil Nadu and Kerala adjoin in the shadow of the Western Ghats. Other mammals includes the grey langur Presbytes bonnet macaque Macaca radiata, jungle cat Slender loris Loris tadigradus, leopard cat Felis bengalensis, civet Viveracula indica and Paradoxurus hermaphroditus, mongoose Herpestes fuscus and Herpestes viticalis, European otter Lutra lutra, Indian giant flying squirrel Petorista petorista, Indian giant squirrel Ratufa indica, porcupine Golden jackal, chevrotain Tragulus memina, hare and pangolin Manus Crassicodata. Over 250 species of birds are found at Nagarhole National Park. Besides the enormous variety of woodland birds, there are large congregations of waterfowl in the Kabini River. Birds range from blue-bearded bee-eater, scarlet minivet and Malabar whistling thrush to the more common ospreys, herons and ducks. Mammals flagship species like Bengal tiger Panthera tigris tigris, Indian bison or gaur Bos gorus, and Indian elephants Elephus maximus indicus are found in large numbers inside the park. A study carried out by Dr. Ullas Karanth of the Wildlife Conservation Society has shown that the forests of Nagarhole have three species of predators i.e. tiger, Indian leopard Panthera partis fusca and Asiatic wild dogs Goon alpinus alpinus present at an equivalent density PA update 2000. The park also has a good number of golden jackals, Canis aureus, grey mongoose, Herpestes edwardsi, sloth bears, Melursus ursinus, striped hyena, hyena hyena, spotted deer or chital, Axis axis, sambar, Cervus unicolor, barking deer, Munidicus muntjac, four-horned antelopes, Tetracircus quadricornis, and wild boar, Sus scrofa. Other mammalian inhabitants include the common palm civet Paradoxurus hermaphroditus, brown mongoose Herpestes brachiaris, striped-necked mongoose Herpestes viticalis, black-naped hare Lepus nigricalis, mouse deer, Indian pangolin Manus crassicodata, red giant flying squirrel Petorista petorista, Indian porcupine Hystrix indica, grey langur and Indian giant flying squirrel Petorista filipensis. Birds recognized as an important bird area the park has over 270 species of birds including the critically endangered oriental white-backed vulture GYPs bengalensis vulnerable lesser adjutant Leptopelos javanicus greater spotted eagle Aquila changa and the nilgiri wood pigeon Columba elphinstoni Near threatened species like darters Anhiga melanogaster, oriental white ibis Threskiornis melanocephalus, greater grey-headed fish eagle Ichthyophaga ichthyetus and red-headed vulture Sarcogyps calvus too can be found here. Endemics include the blue-winged parakeet Cetacula columboides, Malabar grey hornbill Ossaceros griseus and the white-bellied treepy Dendrocita leucogastra. Seven of the 15 Biome 10 Indian Peninsula Tropical Moist Forest and 21 of the 59 Biome 11 Indo-Malayan Tropical Dry Zone species have been noted from here. Some of the birds that can be sighted here include the white-cheeked barbet Megalima voridus, Indian scimitar babbler Pomaterinus horsefieldi, Malabar trogon and Malabar whistling thrush Myiophonus horsefieldi. Birds commonly seen in drier regions like painted bush quail, Pendicula erythrorhynca, Circir malcoa, Phoenicophius lechenaltia, Ashy prinia, Prinia socialis, Indian robin, Saxicoloides fulicata, Indian peafowl, Pava cristatus, and yellow-legged green pigeon, Trarin phenicoptera, can be found here. Reptiles Reptiles commonly found here are mugger Crocodilus palustris, common vine snake Ahatula nasutus, common wolf snake Lycodon olicus, rat snake Tyas mucosus, bamboo pit viper Trimericerus gramineus, Russell's viper Deboya russeli, common crite Bongarus caeruleus, Indian rock python Python meloris, Indian monitor lizard Varanus bengalensis and the common toad Bufo melanostictus. 
Insects extensive studies on the biodiversity of the insect population have been carried out by researchers from the Ashoka Trust for Research in Ecology and the Environment, Bangalore. The insect biodiversity of this park includes over 96 species of dung beetles and 60 species of ants. Unusual species of ants that have been identified include the jumping ants such as Harpenathos saltator, which are known to jump up to a meter high. The ant species Tetrapanera rufonigra may be useful as a marker for the health of the forests because these ants feed on termites and are abundant in places where there are lots of dead trees. Species of dung beetles identified include the common dung beetle Onthophagus dama, India's largest beetle, Heliocopris dominus which breeds only in elephant dung and Onthophagus pactolus, a very rare species of dung beetle. Tribal and native inhabitants The Genu Karubas, primary inhabitants of this forest area, are a tribe in Karnataka state and their traditional practices and rituals are slowly disappearing. The government is restricting their entry inside the national park and forest due to multiple factors including but not limited conservation efforts and bringing the community to the mainstream society. The Ministry of Home Affairs, Government of India, identified the Genu Karuba and the Koraga as tribal groups in Karnataka. The Genu Karubas are traditional food gatherers and honey collectors. In Kannada, the term Genu means honey and the term Karuba generally mean shepherd. It is derived from the Kannada word curry, which means sheep. The term Karuba is also associated with non shepherd communities. They speak a variant form of Kannada commonly known as Genu Nudi within their family kin group, and Kannada with others. They use Kannada script. According to the census of 1981, the population of Genu Karuba community is 34,747 out of which 17,867 are male and 16,880 are female. The Genu Karubas are found scattered in the jungles as with other tribal groups. They are excellent climbers of tree and are skilled in the use of sling, bows and arrows. They demonstrate a strong emotional attachment to the forest as their mother deity and represents a whole way of life. Their food, dress, worship, house, medicine storing articles furniture etc. all are linked with forest. Parts of the tribe which have resisted exposure to modernization still live in thatched huts made of mud, leaves and grass. The Genu Karubas mainly depend on forest for their day-to-day -day life. They occupy forested regions where for a long period in their history, they lived in isolation but in harmony with nature. They demonstrate significant knowledge of the forest including varied species of flora and fauna and relate to the forest very well. Collecting honey, wax and other forest produce like roots and tubers has been the mainstay of their survival and in recent times they have been found selling them in the market through organized trade groups, both legal and illegal which has led to a furore of angst amongst the conservationists. Many of the cultural traits they have are common with the neighboring tribes such as Beta Karuba, Kadu Karuba. In the forest the tribes also practice agriculture, the main crops grown are ragi, cow gram, Bengal gram, horse gram and black gram. In the recent years, a lot of commercialization has occurred due to increase in tourism and fragmentation of forest ranges leading to severe. The tribal communities have long since given up the traditional ways of life and have easily indulged in poaching activities and indiscreet hunting of birds and forest animals. Numerous cases of such assistance provided by the tribal folk to poachers in trying to sell game, live or dead, medicinal herbs have been observed and controlled by the forest department leading to a clash between the tribal communities protected by law and law enforcement agencies. To resolve this conflict and imminent threat to the biodiversity in this forest, numerous relocation efforts and anti-poaching efforts have been made in the last decade. An increase in poaching was attributed to the tribal support received by poachers in getting guidance from the tribal groups to navigate the forest and tracking game, in exchange for money or other supply of necessaries. <laughs> <laughs> Relocation efforts In the last decade there has been enormous activity undertaken both by the government and certain NGOs to relocate tribals to the periphery of the forests. The relocation efforts are part of a larger focus to conserve the existing tiger populations and elephant habitats which were under serious threat due to change in lifestyles of the tribal folk resident within the forests. 
There has been much resistance to relocation efforts from the oldest groups of tribals but success has been met in last few years. Many schools and houses with basic amenities like lighting, hospitals and roads being built to support the relocated tribal population. <laughs> Local villages, settlements and facilities D.B. Kuppi, Makyor, Karapura, Nisana Belathur, Hemingket, Damanaka Tate, Antharasanthe, Lakshmi Pura. The Balay Elephant Camp is a facility of the Karnataka Forest Camp inside the Nagarhol National Park. It is located between Kerala and Karnataka inside the forest. <laughs> Threats and conservation efforts Timber smuggling threats to the national park come from large-scale cutting of sandalwood and teak trees. Timber smuggling, especially sandalwood smuggling, happens quite extensively here. Timber felling has been reported from plantation areas in Kalahadi, Vadara Modu, Tatikure in Virahozanahali and Mediape in Kalahali. Other places where timber felling has been reported include Arikati, Bhadrikat, Bitarikat, Virana Hosahali and Marhigodu ranges. In July 2002 hundreds of trees were cut down in the Viranahosali range. Local non-governmental organizations NGOs like Kodagu Ekakarana Ranga Kur, Budakatu Krishakara Sangha BKS and Budakatu Haku Stepana Samiti BHSS are working to stop tree felling. Cattle disease Disease outbreaks among the cattle have been recorded. An outbreak of rabies that resulted in four cattle deaths and affecting 25 to 30 cattle was reported in the first week of September 2005 at GM Halley on the border of Anthrasanthe Forest Range in the park. Poaching Poaching of birds and other mammals is another serious issue. A high number of elephant deaths have been reported from this park, with nearly 100 elephants dying between 1991-92 and 2004-05 in the Kodagu and Hunsier Forest Division PA Update 2005. Elephants are killed for their ivory. A study carried out by Wildlife First, found that nearly 77 elephants were reported dead between 1 January 2000 and 31 October 2002. Another study carried out by the Institute for Natural Resources, Conservation, Education, Research and Training in 2002 revealed that as many as seven elephants had been killed earlier that year. A study carried out by Dr. Olas Karanth and Madhu Sudan between 1996 and 1997 revealed that hunting was the biggest threat to wildlife in Kudremak and Nagarhol National Parks. The survey carried out on 49 active and 19 retired hunters revealed that 26 species of wildlife were hunted at an average intensity of 216 hunter days per month per village. As much as 48% of the hunters reported hunting for the thrill. The study showed that in Nagarhol, 16 mammal species weighing over 1 kg were regularly hunted with shotguns and also by traditional methods used by tribal communities. Non-payment of forestry staff A report submitted by the Project Tiger Steering Committee stated that barely 25% of the park's staff were involved in vigilance work, thus putting the park at high risk of both, poaching and tree felling. Irregular payment to the forestry staff has been reported in both Bondipur and Nagarhol National Parks and there have also been reports of improper use of project funds. Forest fire in January, 2012, there was a catastrophic forest fire that destroyed over 6,000 acres 2, hectares of forest. Huge trees were reduced to cinder. Burnt remains of snakes, monitor lizards, giant malabar squirrels lay scattered on the charred remains of what was once a verdant patch of moist deciduous forest. Forest fires and seasonal droughts coupled with water shortage have caused many wild animals to migrate to other greener spaces. Human wildlife conflict Human wildlife conflicts due to raids by wild animals and elephants on nearby villages along with the consequent retaliation by the villagers is another important threat to the park's wildlife. In 2001, the Karnataka state government sanctioned 2 crore rupees to dig elephant-proof trenches and install solar fencing around the park to prevent elephants from straying into the farmers' fields. Human habitation In 1997, tribal activist groups won a public interest litigation in the Karnataka High Court to halt the setting up of a resort called the Gateway Tusker Lodge planned to be set up by the Taj Group of Hotels. 
With nearly 125 villages present inside the park, NGOs actively working to protect the tribal communities include, Living Inspiration for Tribals LIFT, Korg Organization of Rural Development Korg, DEED, Fadina Vikasa and Nagarhol Budakatu Janara Hakastapana Samithi. In 2000, the first relocation attempts initiated by a World Bank-funded eco-development project of the local tribal population was begun with 50 tribal people. The relocated families were given land possession certificates for five acres of land and houses at Viranahosali, near Hunsier. The state and union government planned to relocate 1,550 tribal families at a cost of 15.5 crore. Rupees. Gallery See also D.B. Cuppy Mananthavadi Road